Hi there, today we're going to talk about customary weight. So the first thing we're going to talk about is weight. Weight is how heavy something is. And we're going to look at three different ways that you can measure weight. The first one we're going to look at is ounces. Next we're going to look at pounds. And finally we're going to look at tons. Let's go take a look at ounces. We're going to begin with ounces. Now ounces are very small amounts of weight. And they have an abbreviation that we use, looks like this, OZ with a period. And that means an ounce. Now things that are ounces are things like apples, fruit. An apple might be about four ounces. So it's a very light amount. Other things that might be an ounce, a pencil, a baseball card, a sticker. These are all things that you would weigh in ounces. Very, very light, light things. Next, let's take a look at, at pounds. Pounds. So pounds are used for larger amounts of weight. The abbreviation for pound is LB. If it's plural, more than one, it's LBS. So one pound, but four pounds LBS. Now, 16 ounces equals one pound. So you can see that a pound already is much, much larger than an ounce. So if we think about things that are in ounces, an apple, some sort of fruit, small things like pencils, cards, a pound is for larger things. Weighing a pig, animals, a cat, about equals about eight pounds. You, as a student, might weigh as much as maybe 50 pounds. So using pounds is for larger things. Animals, yourself as a person, books, bigger, bigger things, your backpack, that would be weighed in pounds everything that is larger. Things smaller, things like food, that sort of thing, are weighed in ounces. Now let's look at the large one, the ton. Now let's take a look at ton, or the plural, tons. Now tons are very, very large. A car, for instance. A car is about two tons. Now, to put that in perspective, one ton equals the same as 2,000 pounds. So that's a large, large amount. Think about if you weigh 50 pounds, imagine something 2,000 pounds. So really, really big objects, cars, trucks, trains, large, large, large animals like an elephant or a whale. Those are all things that you would use tons for. So we've been reviewing ounces, pounds, and tons. Let's take a look at a few things and see if we can figure out whether we should use pounds, ounces, or tons to, fit, to measure them. Okay, here we have a big dump truck. Would you use ounces, pounds, or tons to measure a dump truck? Well, now we know that a dump truck is a very, very large amount. It's big. So your choice of tons would be the correct answer. Nice work. Here we have a carton of milk. Now this time, which would you use to measure it? Would you use ounces, pounds, or tons? You're measuring a carton of milk, something you'd have at snack. If you said ounces, you are correct. Now you think about Something like a, a pint of milk might be about six ounces. It's a fairly light thing. It's a small thing. It wouldn't be a pound. It wouldn't be as heavy as a large book, okay? This is something that's fairly small, and you'd use ounces. Nice job. Finally, we have this cute little dog here. What would you use to find out how much this dog weighs? Would you use ounces, 
would you use pounds or would you use tons to measure a dog? Point to the one you would use. If you said pounds, pat yourself on the back. A normal sized dog weighs about 40 pounds. Not as big as a dump truck, so you wouldn't use tons, and it's not as tiny as a piece of fruit, so it would not be ounces. Nice work. Today we've been practicing customary weight and figuring out which choice we'd use for weighing, whether we use ounces for very small things, pounds for medium sized things, or tons for really large things. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.